Hi friends, welcome to Tech Tutorials in Telugu by Teja. In this channel, we are going to learn about Linux, Windows, VMware and cloud computing platforms. Please do support by subscribing. Now, let's get into today's topic. See friends, in this lab, we are going to see how to restrict or deny a domain user uh, without re like uh, renaming or the creation of any new folders in a specific drive. For example, every client machine will having a multiple drives right uh, like you know drives in the sense voice for voice will be having c drive for data d e f something like that right uh, by using this gpo we can restrict user making any changes like renaming the folder if the client machine having the existing folder na, in the d drive the end user who is the user is will be there right the end user we can say the domain user can't rename it for example the folder name is folder project for example so end user can't rename it if he want he just he can just open and he can edit the file that's it he can't make any changes to the particular folder if any such requirement this group policy will be the handy friends it, it will be used in real time also okay let me explain you a few things by default by default domain policy every default user can create or rename by default okay any default any domain user can do this but we are as per our requirement we are going to restrict it okay let us see how to restrict this uh, for this we need one server uh, nothing but a domain controller and we need a client machine which is joined to the domain so that whenever we create the group policy over here we can test from the client machine okay this is my server and this is my client machines okay in server i'm going to want to log in okay in server i'm having two drives you can see here and i open over here see i'm having c drive for voice and d drive for data okay for example raw data in the same way when we log into the client mission i'm just logging as a do domain administrator over here in the client system here when you open over here you can see c drive for os and d drive for data here i have created few folders over here friends project 1 project 2 project 3 and in project 1 having data 1 right you can see here in this way so right now what we are going to do we are going to log into the server and we are going to create a group policy object over here you all know like how we create a group policy by default for that we need to open the group policy management console this can be opened by server manager go to tools here you can see group policy management right click on it minimize the window let that get opened here you can see what all the existing group policy objects are there all this will be available in the group policy objects so we are going to create a new policy over here right so how we are going to create a new policy if it is like this right uh, when in your uh, lab environment you need to expand like this and go to group policy objects here i am going to create a new policy create a new give the name of the policy you can give any name you can give it as uh, deny user deny user create uh, okay okay if you give a relevant name so whenever someone sees this right uh, see so and so policy is related to this so they can identify so whenever you create some policy give the relevant name over here i'm going to create a blank policy i'm not going to apply anywhere just click here, okay once the policy get created you can see here right deny user create and rename the folder edit this policy once you are going to edit it we can find two options over here 
one is the computer configuration other one is the user configuration over here right so for this we are going to go to the computer configuration right in this go to expand policies in this window settings okay i am going to maximize this so that you can have the better view of it so in this window settings i am going to expand the security settings over here expand security settings and then go to the file system over here okay when you click on file system access control policy will be there by default you, are, you need to add the file over here right click add file once you add the file it will show up what drive need to be added i am going to choose d drive okay i am just going to select that drive whatever where we want to apply this policy so i am just i have chosen the d drive click ok whenever you click ok the permissions wizard will be opening the security permissions you can see here right this will get opens here you need to make the required changes over here okay what changes you are going to make go click on as once you can have a clear view of it what exactly in this okay once you click on advanced you can see add option over here like a principal option you need to add over here click add and it will ask to choose the principal right and i'm going to choose it for which user we need to here you need to choose a group for the best practice but as of now we are going to choose a user called murali i'm going to use choose user morally as well as pavan two users the best way of doing is you need to add these users into a group and give the permissions to a particular group not an individual users but as a practical purpose we are doing like this see once you select the users click okay okay it is asking to choose only one user at a time so i have chosen morally over here click okay uh go to advanced permissions here you can see what morally can do uncheck all the things friends clear all give permission as read execute read attribute right here give read attribute permission so rest all read attribute delete he can't delete he can't anything okay i have given permission for read attribute one more user is pavan right i'm going to add pavan also pavan show advanced permissions clear all give just read read attribute permissions over here click okay once you give permissions you can check here friends rightly who are having what what level of access you can see here right so for particular user we have given only read attribute permissions over here for these two users rest all has been removed right as discussed so once you are done with it just apply okay and you can just uh, have a okay for this window also whatever the window has been opened over here this gives a like uh, we are like stating that configure this file and folder then propagate the inheritable permission to all the subfolders and files this should be there friends if not uh, the folders within that uh, particular shared drives right it can be applied so leave it as a default and click okay so for drive d the permissions has been applied the next step is apply the group policy see the next step is uh, apply the group policy which we have created see how to apply you know log into the client sorry log into the server uh, right now we had two missions over here right one is the server other one is the client i am going to take the control of the server and open the group policy in the group policy management you can see there are there is a sales for you first of all let us check where is our computer is present like our client machine is present on which for you we need to check that one to check that you just open dsa.msc users and computers open the users and computers and see where is the client one mission is resides on which oyu we need to check that particular oyu firstly see here when you check here the client one computer is present on the sales oyu 
so i am going to apply the policy which we have created on the sales for you how to apply the policy right click on the sales link an existing gpo what is the policy which we have created deny the users create and rename the folders right this is the group policy which we have created apply see right now the policy has been applied see we need to forcefully up update the group policy how to do that gp update forward slash force once we are done with it over here we need to go to the client mission this is all i am doing at the server end right now see computer policy has been updated successfully and then the user policy need to be updated successfully yeah the user policy is also has been updated successfully now open the client mission this is the client mission we are in see these are the predetermined folders which has been created before applying the policy right now i am going to forcefully apply the policy for that what we need to do is just we need to open the cmd firstly i'll, I'll be showing what exactly we are in uh, i have logged in with user morally right i am going to apply the policy forcefully update the group policy computer policy has been updated successfully very very good and we need to um, the user policy need to also get completed it is taking some time you can see here the user policy has been updated successfully right once after completion of this forcefully updating the policy not to check the output at the moment you need to check the output after rebooting okay because it takes some time uh, the policy won't get applied till we restart so i'm just restarting the client mission okay restart once the client has been restarted i'll update you let's see what is the status of the client it is getting restarted let it get restarted friends see the reboot has been completed successfully right now i'm going to log in with a user called morally okay for that user we have applied permissions right hey friends uh, i have logged in with a user called morally now open the file explorer go to d drive on which we have applied the permissions previously there are nine folders over here okay now try to rename any of the things i am just trying to rename the project 9 folder i am right click rename when i try to apply right uh, see i have changed the name from project 9 to 99 how it is showing up it is popping up an error you need to have the administrative privilege to complete this task if i click continue right it will ask for the username and password you can see right i'm just hitting no now see when i try to delete it asked for the i'm trying to delete an individual folder here see it is showing up the pop-up here i am trying to delete one folder now i'm going to delete projects nine eight over here delete see it pop up the error see in the same way the deletion and renaming i'm trying to rename the project one to project 11 will it happen no these are all the two things which we have restricted for with our uh, gpb group policy object see creation of the new folder is also restricted you can see when i try to create a new folder inside this see it is throwing up an error so you can't make any changes to this friends this is all about uh, the lab today see for example inside this if you want to create any of the anything if you want to create anything it will ask for the it will ask for the permission for this right this is how it works friends by using this uh, group policy user can just read what all the content within this particular see for example there are n number of folders all the what all user can do just he can simply read those data but he can't delete he can't do anything okay i think uh, this is the agenda of our lab today friends thank you have a nice day